Welcome to Semi Vintage. Today, we're looking at the Hero 363 Corn Fountain Pen. There's a saying, Nan Ying Xiong, Beijing Xing, Hero in the South, Golden Star in the North. But who is Hero? From the write up on the China Writing Instrument Association website, we can learn the predecessor of Hero. Hua Fu was established in 1931, in the days of the Republic. After a 1955 merger, Hua Fu became Hero, with the original Hua Fu branding becoming a sub-brand, although it was only made official in 1966. They listed on the Shanghai Stock Exchange in 1992, and the actual pen-producing part of the company was spun off and sold after a restructuring exercise. That's what we know as Old Hero. I understand of late a new hero as to making and selling pens again, but maybe that's a topic for another time. I purchased this off Taobao for 22 RMB before shipping, 4.48 Singaporean or about 3.32 American. It took me a while to find one in stock that wasn't triple the price. Some measurements. A very small and light fountain pen. For our size comparison, we have another Hero pen, the 373 in the shape of a rocket, a Delight Element Pocket Fountain pen, our Moment M8 and Fully One uh, 017 because they're pretty. Close up, clip is a little too soft, no logo or brand identification. Cap unscrews. No liner, but we do get quite a few threads. Corn pattern on the barrel. Post to a length I would consider barely usable. Perhaps it was made for children or those uh, young at heart. A rather small nib. On it, we see the Hero logo, along with uh, Made in Hero. Uh, let's take a closer look. Comes with a very small aerometric filler with no metal sheath. Next, let's have a writing sample.
Is it worth it? If you like the novelty and collecting obscure fountain pens, I imagine the kids who had one probably had fun with one. Although I can imagine that's uh, also probably why not many made it uh, to today intact. That's all for this one. Thanks and see you in the next video. Stay safe. Bye.